Welcome everybody back to Minecraft Map Review. Oh, thunder. Today we're playing through a horror map called Nightmare Frenzy. Now, I can jump. I've got blindness and slowness, so that means no sprinting. Start the nightmares. We've got a trap chest with some pajamas. Story, disclaimer, settings, important, and credits. Let's put on our pajamas before anything else. So we got settings. Brightness, moody, oof. All music and sounds 100% except music. Eh, play this in the dark. Standard options. So these are optional options. Ah, for the scariest experience. Okay, I'll do as much as I can of that. Chat shown. Gotcha. Texture pack on. I did put it on. About 30 minutes. Okay, perfect. So we'll adjust the brightness in just a second for now. Important. I will turn up all my sounds to 100%. That's not where sounds are. Wait, did it say accept music? Accept music. Okay. Perfect. I think we're good then. Um, yep, everything's 100% except music. We are good to go. And brightness. Yeah, we're not playing on muty. Maybe 50? Maybe bright. Maybe definitely bright. Oh, that turns on the light when you're in a chest. Oh, and also... Auto jump off. All right. Let's get the nightmare started. I wonder if this is going to be some, like, Freddy shenanigans? Or what are we doing here? I can't see anything. As far as I know, it's just pitch black. I was expecting some story to start, but... Ah! Here we go. Mental Issue Presents. Pajamas. It's a totem of undying. Hold on. I'll hold it in my offhand then. I don't know what's in the darkness with me. Nightmare Frenzy. Let's get started. I am excited. I'm ready. I'm a tad bit scared, but don't tell anybody. And let's go. Orphanage Lady. I'm praying for you, little one. May God help your soul. Oh no, I'm an orphan. Uh, and with my pajamas and my teddy bear. Okay. Thanks, Orphanage Lady. Hold on, we can... Detect that the source of the light... There's lighting on the teddy bear, you can see. It's loading. So the light... It's hard to tell. Ooh, down, up. You can tell which direction we're looking based on the movement of the light on the teddy bear. <gasps> Look around the house. Dude, my bed is broken. What happened? Oh, I can't jump. Unused English and math book. Sounds about right. Trees outside. Light switch? Doesn't work. Now, am I in a nightmare? Because it said start the nightmares. Looks like we can go downstairs. Let's check upstairs first. The bathroom. Oh, the light works in here. Gotcha, gotcha. Let me go check out the other room. It looks like it's daytime outside. Not too scary. Oh, okay. Find my foster parents. So I'm living with foster parents, and they already woke up. I was going to get them because I must have had a bad dream or something. And the trick I learned in Redmore Mansion is spam spacebar. TV remote. Um, I can't spam space anymore. Interesting. Oh, wait, I had to hold... Yeah, I have to hold sprint. A doormat. Very cool. Ah, my foster parents. What's up, guys? Yeah, how'd you sleep, bud? Same. Sad. Do you sleepwalk again? 
I woke up in the living room in the middle of the night. Apparently, I sleepwalk. I checked on you all night. You didn't move out of bed, man, says Dad. Okay, try to stay outside as much as possible, please. Maybe the fresh will help you. Fine, go outside. Okay, I'll go outside. It seems to me like... Oh, my bear! No, give me my bear back. And you can have your button. It seems to me... Like... Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. That evening. Yeah, sure. No, wait. I don't look up on my plate. No. No, I don't want to. Although I kind of do. That sounds a lot safer. I wanted to tell you that I want you to start school soon enough. It's a nice little school. The teachers are instructed to make sure you're not getting picked on by other kids. I think that's most schools, and I think none of them really do that. You will. I will show you to school in the morning. You need to start your life again. Dang, what did I do to get out of school? I realize, I guess I was probably adopted recently. Windows open. This must be the door to the kitchen. I guess I'll go upstairs. Seems like a nice little place. What about under the stairs? I didn't go there last time. Um. No. You know, I'm going to have to go down here later when it's scarier, so I might as well learn the layout now, right? Some barrels. Nothing under the stairs. Okay, I know the layout now. We're chilling. Let's keep that door closed. It's a little sketchy. Alright. Night-night time. Why does my light not work? Huh? Oh, that was the sleep button? Um, so I'm asleep. Oh, I woke up in the middle of the night. It's definitely nighttime. I can't get out of bed. I'm having a wait. Don't you dare open the door. No. Hide under the covers, bro. Hide under the covers. Don't you dare open. No. Please. No. No. They're getting closer. They stopped. Why would you call out? Dad? Dad doesn't wear shoes in the house. I'm not going to go check who it is. It's freaking Michael Myers. I'm not going, bro. Hello? Daddy-o? Okay. Go check and see who it is. Why would I check and see who it is? I don't see anybody. Okay, there is enough light that I think I can do this. Oh, you know what? I might be able to go moody. That's a little dark. We'll go 50% for now. In the bathroom? The light switch doesn't work. Why? What about my parents' room? Parents? Why aren't they in... What do you mean she must be downstairs? It's the middle of the night. Why would she be downstairs? I don't see anybody. Thunder. There's no way they're downstairs. The basement door is still shut. Okay. Gotta check the kitchen. I swear, if there's some dead parents in here, I'm gonna run so fast. I'm going right out the front door to the police station. Can the thunder stop right now? I'm having a moment. They're not in the kitchen either. They aren't here. I'm dreaming. Go back to your room and sleep. 
I don't like it, bro. And why would you assume you're dreaming? This guy's got really lucid dreams. Not a fan, because then you can't tell when you're dreaming or if this is reality. Keep an eye on that staircase and the window. Window seems good. Don't you dare open door. Balcony seems clear. Seems clear. Seems clear. Why did I close my door? <sighs> Whatcha? Anybody here? Nope. That door closed on its own. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Go away. Go away. Shoo. I'm not going back out there. No. You can't make me. I'm dreaming, bro. Go to sleep. Where's the button? Of course, the light doesn't work. <laughs> Was there someone here? <gasps> hey, hey. No, 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 no. It's the ghost light. No. Where you going, no lantern man? To daddy -o's room? I swear, bro. Huh? What? Oh, it's morning. Huh? It's not morning. Later that day. I'm watching oh, no, TV. This, this doesn't look good. How's this? Oh, that looks great. But I may need more. My gosh. I've never had an opponent before. Even when I ran for... I can't hear. For mayor of high school, I ran out of place. Because I made up the position. If only I could have warned you about this abduction stuff sooner, then everything would be fine now. Uh. I really dropped the ball. You're right, you Interesting. This is all your fault. So it says later that day. Call an impromptu town meeting on the boardwalk. I'll tell every So that means my parents, I've seen them today, right? My dad said he was going to take me to school, so how is it later that day? Why do they leave their window open? It's sketchy, bro. You got to lock... Go. We spent the rest of the day with his parents, helping them cook. He saw pictures of his new school, and he felt a little happy for the first time in a month. Bro, they can't keep cutting like this. I'm going to have a heart attack. Okay. Helping them cook. Saw pictures. Okay, cool. So I spent the day with my parents, meaning I woke up. Maybe. And apparently, I shouldn't be. Someone opened my door, bro. 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 No. <laughs> Haven't you ever watched a horror movie, my guy? You stay in your room. There's no way they like English and math. I will hit you with the math book. Hey. Who's messing with the router? The antenna? I swear. Who pushed the light button? It wasn't me. I'm fine with it being on. I'm not pushing no stinking button. Someone's messing with, messing with the electronics. It's a freaking poltergeist. Not scared. Why would I want to turn that off? I want it on. What was that? It sounded like glass breaking. No, it didn't come from the basement. <laughs> I have maths and English. Better watch out. I will chuck these books at you so hard you're gonna wish you had a 
football helmet on. American football, of course. Uh, European football and everywhere else, they don't wear helmets. Why? Why? Dad? Huh? Did the light go out? Hey, why am I locked in here? I need to wake up. Wait, whoa, 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 buddy! Just did, no, 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 you might not be in a dream. Calm down. Wait. Turn what off? Okay, I can't see anymore. Huh? No. Is this dad's workshop? Is dad some kind of serial killer? Bro, if I found this, I'd be like, in my adopted parents' house, I'd like leave and call the police. It's like, dude, they got a saw in their basement and the police would be like, yeah, no, duh, it's a basement. Yeah, ding dong. But they hid it from me behind a secret door. Try to go back to your room. I like how it says try. Mm-hmm. Sure. Doesn't just say go back to your room. It says try to go back to your room. Uh-huh. Funny. Cool story. What was that? What was that? I couldn't see it. Something just popped in front of my screen. It, it, it blocked my blocked my path. Um, but that wasn't dead. I'll tell you that much. Just do the drive-by. <laughs> My window. No. Peace out, losers. My bear. Bro. No, duh. This is Freddy Cougar. Bro, what happens to you in your dream happens to you in real life. Of course there wasn't. He found it. <gasps> So I was awake the whole time, but the window didn't break, so it was in and out. The day goes by, the night comes, he told me nothing the whole day, crying with his arms cut. No, dud, bro, that sucks. Okay, so he, he has waking dream, like he sleepwalks, but he's dreaming while he does it, but part of it is actual memories. That's what this is. He goes to bed, his foster parents stay in the kitchen. What are we going to do? So the parents weren't responsible for the other room? What? But then how'd the room get there? We can't... We can't keep him. Bro, why is it... Oh, it's because I did discover something. But we always wanted it. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. It's literally serial killer parents. Bro. We can start again. Leave him where... And leave the poor kid in the streets? Bro, it's better than killing me. Leave me in the streets. It's okay. It's okay. Put me back in the foster home. I'll take it over this. We'll just leave him at the orphanage we took him from and never come back. Yes! Thank you, Dad. You are a legend. I can't believe how easy this is for you, says Mom. Ugly crying. Bro, it's because he's a serial killer, my guy. There's no way they didn't know that was in the house. It's not, okay? I'm as close to crying as you are. Sure, Dad, sure. Just drop me off. I'll be okay. And if you actually aren't serial killers, there's somebody who works in your basement that's really sketchy. Even if we did abandon him, you think they will take him back with all those cuts on his arms? We're going to be suspected of abuse? Well, no, duh. Well, how did he cut himself in his sleep? And how did he know about the basement part? Because I didn't. Okay, so if you didn't know, I slept, walked, and discovered it. Mixed with my dreams. Bro, someone lives down there. Someone works down there. There was shenanigans. I must have followed somebody. It's like your uncle or your brother or something that knows about it. That you gave him a spare key. I shouldn't have listened to you to adopt him. Okay, well, Dad, that was a little bit rude, my guy. You about to get stabbed from, like, the window or something. Don't you dare blame me. Bro, I'm a fine kid. I just got a few problems, you know, that's all. 
Uh, sleepwalking is not the worst of it. And clearly, you could probably find the screwdriver where I scratched myself. They stay in silence for a long time before Mom left to go take a shower. Sure, sure. The kid heard the entire conversation. Well, yeah, understandable. As a kid, you go down and you say, Yo, wait, he fell asleep an hour later, filling his pillow with tears. Oh, that's so sad. Bro, kid, you just go be like, Yo, parents, your house is freaking haunted. Take me back to the orphanage. This was his home before the incident. Go drink water. Okay, so this was, this is like I'm having a dream of my memory. Okay, fair enough. Also, why is it the character always needs to go drink water? That's why they get up in the middle of the night and go die. In false dreams, that's what it was too. He doesn't remember what was here. Okay. I guess we're going to this door. That's the way out. This looks like a kitchen. Who screamed? The girls' room? Go see what was outside of the apartment. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm thirsty. I'm not letting, letting them use that as an excuse. <laughs> Water from the fridge? Thank you very much. Okay. Um. So now I'm outside the apartment, into the apartment hallway. Anyone here? should close these doors hey anybody here yo who screamed someone getting mugged i know i'm just a child but hello hello i feel like all these doors should be iron doors or locked or something okay so that's ahead <laughs> that's ahead No way that Steve let out that girl scream, though. Huh? Orphanage lady. Aiden Collins, 11. Paradins murdered in a home invasion when he was 6. Severe PTSD. A few doctors even said schizophrenia. Not sure. He was adopted four times and abandoned. Are you sure you want to adopt him? Yes, we are. Oof. Oof. Dude, murdered in a home invasion. But why was the body out there? He was woken up by his foster parents screaming. They had made their decision. They're going to take me back? I mean, that's fine, but bro, you got a basement in your house you don't know about that's clearly been used. The saw was spinning, you know? And... Um, wait a minute. Hold the phone. Murder and a home invasion. So is this all in my brain? Or is some of this real? Mentally unstable patient. Bro. Did I read the storybook number one at the very beginning? I don't think I did. Rip. Aiden Collins was always a happy kid. He loved to play when he was six. His parents were killed uh, by a man who killed himself after doing it. So that was the body outside, I'm guessing. He chopped off his own head. He had no other relatives, so he was sent to an orphanage, adopted four times, until his family adopted him at 11. His dreams became worse. He would walk in his sleep and act what he was dreaming. The last night he dreamt, he, the night he killed... Wait. The last night he dreamt the night his parents were killed. He didn't remember much. He didn't remember the furniture or the parents' room. But when he woke up screaming, his foster parents left him at the orphanage like all his previous parents. He was evaluated and sent to an asylum. My guy, the dude's 11. He doesn't need to be in an asylum. He needs to see a freaking therapist. All right, well, that's the end of this map. Wow. What a dark map, my dude. Um, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that map. Pretty dang good horror map. I like the story. The, the, um... The map itself, pretty dang fun. Not too many jump scares, just a really creepy stuff, which I liked. The actual jump scare, I wish I would have seen what was on that black thing that appeared. Was it like a dude? I don't even know, man. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye